Hornets now 2 and 2 in Summer League after getting crushed by the Bulls last night. Let's talk about a Buzz City Hoops here. I make Wheelie really Hornets content, super into that stuff. Definitely hit the subscribe button, turn the notification bell on, like, comment, share. Let's get into it. So the Hornets lost 73 to 89 against the Bulls. It's a pretty bad game. They only shot 24% from three. They had about 16 turnovers. You know, they only shot 34% from the field. It was just a bad game. I don't really think there's a single player that really had a good game. Uh, the starting lineup was the same as last game, so no Nick Richards. So we saw Mark at the five, uh, and we saw Kai Jones coming off the bench playing the backup five as well. Um, yeah, no one really had a good game, especially Bryce McGowan's. He had a, he didn't have a good game. I did not like what I saw from Bryce McGowan's. Uh, the shots weren't falling. I thought he was kind of selfish. But in terms of Mark Williams, you know, I didn't think it was the best game, but his playmaking did look decent. He had a couple nice passes. I think he had one nice pass to LJ. Then he had, yeah, his, his passing was nice, you know, especially for how big he is. His passing was definitely nice. I guess that was kind of a bright spot. And Kai Jones, you know, he, he took some three-pointers. He finally made one, but you, know, you don't really want to see him taking too many three-pointers, even though they were down by a lot, so it didn't really matter. But you still want to see him going to the rim more than taking threes. But just in terms of effort, I just didn't feel like there was a lot of effort from the Hornets this game. Uh, this energy wasn't there. They weren't as aggressive as they were against Cleveland. Against Cleveland, you know, everything you know, everything was clicking for the Hornets. You know, it was pretty much just a perfect game for the Hornets. But this game, you know, energy, effort, they weren't aggressive. The Bulls were a lot more aggressive. Uh, they trapped the Hornets. The Bulls' defense was a lot better. The Hornets just couldn't match it. Uh, I don't know if it's because, you know, this is the team that they're playing against. This is a bad matchup, or you know, it could be a combination of also having a back-to-back -back, uh, game. You know, they might be a bit tired from that, but it shouldn't be really anything that new for these players, back-to-backs. But yeah, so though they play the Timberwolves tomorrow, at five o'clock, the final summer league game. Uh, let's hope you know they end on a good note. You know, play a bit better. And at the end of the day, the record doesn't really matter in summer league. Uh, it's just some really, it's just more of a place or at this time where you can just see, you know, what what you got, what the Hornets have. Um, you know, guys like LJ Figueroa and Tyson Alexander, you know, this was definitely not their game. Especially LJ, this wasn't as uh, you know, aggressive, didn't have as much energy as he did in, in past games. So I don't know if the Hornets really in into bringing back LJ and Tyson, you know, maybe for training camp. We'll see what happens. I don't know if the two-way spot is really that best good of an option for either of those guys. There could be some better options out there. But yeah, let's see what happens tomorrow. Um, if you like this video, please give a like. Hit that subscribe button. And I appreciate you for watching.